Jocelyn Atkinson, the founder of Dermaflush. At Dermaflush, it's our mission to create products that help fix a lot of the little imperfections that make all of us feel insecure. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about our newest products behind the scenes, that is our concealer, and the behind the scenes corrector. What's great about these products is they fix all kinds of discoloration issues, like this breakout that I have. One of my biggest insecurities is my dark circles. It's just a hereditary thing. I've had them my whole life. They're getting worse as I get older. I've tried every product under the sun, and so I made it my mission to create a product that would effectively block out the discoloration, last all day, and not rub off. Um, also, we have a lot of customers who have scars and they have discolored scars. Maybe they're raised and can't be addressed with a Dermaflush topical filler. And so, so many of them were asking for a really, really good concealer that would um, effectively hide the discoloration. So, to start, I'm going to talk about the corrector. Uh, for those of you who are maybe new to this idea, it seems kind of counterintuitive that you use color to correct color, but you'll see that there are all different colors here. Um, and I'm going to be using the peach colors to block out the purple um, and dark under eye circles. And then as well, the green to block out the redness. So you use the corrector first and then you can use your regular foundation over top. Or if the discoloration is severe, you could use our corrector followed with the concealer. So the concealer comes in a light medium palette as well as a dark palette. I'm gonna be using the light today. This color here is my color. Um, and so I will use the corrector first, followed by the concealer, and then I'm gonna use our Made in the Shade Mineral Powder, which I like because it is so lightweight and very um, natural. It has antioxidants as well as SPF. Um, so it's gonna, be very, very pigmented and help with the discoloration, but also give a really nice finish. Never really cakey, you know, whereas some liquid foundation might be cakey over um, acne prone skin. So this doesn't clog your pores um, and it's just a really great long wearing mineral powder. So today I'm going to show you how to use behind the scenes to address some of the issues that I have. So here I'm using the green to block out the redness. You can see that the redness is already gone. It's a little bit green, but not as green as we would expect given the color in the palette. And remember, the concealer is gonna go over top, so it'll have a nice, normal, natural finish. The concealer palette comes with a small brush for little detailing. I like using the wider concealer, more traditional concealer brush for bigger areas as well as for under the eye, but you can use either. Okay, next I'm gonna use the peach tones for the under eye circles. And because I'm dark all the way around the eye, I'm going the under eye as well as the eyelid. So you can see I already look significantly better. And if you have uh, under eye circles that are not quite as bad as mine, you could then just apply your regular foundation at this point. But since mine are so dark, I'm gonna go ahead and follow with the behind the scenes concealer. With the behind the scenes concealer, you wanna use a very little bit. A little bit goes a long way and you have to work somewhat quickly to blend out your edges into the surrounding skin because it does dry to a really nice matte finish. It's not tacky um, like a lot of really heavy concealers are. If you don't find an exact color match in the behind the scenes concealer, you can mix two colors um, to get a closer match to your skin tone. One of the things I really like about this concealer is that it doesn't settle in the wrinkles under the eyes, making them look exaggerated or more cakey. Behind the scenes is waterproof. It lasts all day and you need to use a makeup remover to remove it. I have a little age spot after pregnancy on my right cheek. And so I'm gonna use the concealer there to block out that spot as well. Okay, so now I have everything concealed. I'm gonna go follow up with my foundation as I mentioned before. 
I'm using our Made in the Shade Mineral Powder, which I like for acne prone skin because it doesn't clog the pores. It's very lightweight and never looks cakey. I like to use Made in the Shade as a concealer as well. I go in with a more concentrated brush on some of these spots just to get a little added concealment. Perhaps I missed some the first time around. But really the great thing about behind the scenes concealers that you don't need a setting spray or a powder. It dries down matte on its own. Okay, now I look like a different person, much better. I'm going to add a quick bronzer over top and then my eye makeup and so forth and I'm done. So you can also use behind the scenes to contour. I like a really natural look, so I didn't do that today, but I did add highlighter over top, but you can use it to contour if um, that's what you want to do. Okay, so that's it. I look a lot better than I did when we started. I hope that was a helpful tutorial.